we as humans, we want a lot of the same things, right? We want a real connection to each other, a sense of community, some forward progress, basic survival being covered. And there is, uh, my girlfriend has put me on to this version of the story of what's happening in cities, which is a lot of the new populations of cities are people who are suburban yes, expats. Absolutely. And the suburbs was a big- Taking their SUVs. Yeah, and, and the suburbs was like a big overpromise. Right. Like you can kind of have a rural life, but live with city amenities, and you don't need anybody else. Right, you have your own car, your own backyard, your own entertainment system, so why do we need to invest in common anything? Because you got yours and that's that. And that's a version of the, like a twisted version, I think, of the American dream. And then those kids realize that cities are dope, that the music is better, that black people are cool, that like it's, so I want, I want that city life, but you have no practice right. living among others. Right. And so you actually call the police a lot. <laughs> right. 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 Because you don't know how to deal because your comfort is number one. And you right. weaponize that discomfort by bringing armed men to the scene because somebody's music is loud. Like somebody's opening their own business. And the, the yearning is true. The way it is executed can often have disastrous consequences. And the best version, I think, is the farmer's market is awesome. <laughs> and I'm in New York and you have relationships with folks yes. upstate and it's yes. an integrated, That's beautiful collaborative. Just the thing. act. But the, the conflicts that arise because of the lack of practice at living together and seeing each other can be literally deadly as well.